Hey there! In this video we're gonna explain how to track affiliate linking on your website. We're gonna cover three scenarios specifically. Uh, first of all, we wanna cover the version where your visitors actually go to another website, so you wanna have that count in Google Analytics 4. We're gonna go into the admin panel and into the event section, and then by clicking on create event button, we open this pop-up where you get to modify existing events in GA4. So you will click create and then you will start from here by modifying an existing event. I already did that because I don't want to waste too much time here. We have three different versions to cover. So number one, we want to track if somebody moves away from your website. So if you send affiliate traffic to another website. Here we have a blog post that Jeff wrote about the discussion on should you advertise on branded keywords or not. And if we turn on the debugger, we should be able to see it here in the debug view of the view rollup. Okay, debugger is always uh, lagging. So let me show you how that event is structured. It's called affiliate traffic sent to Maz. This is not affiliate link, but there is a link here that takes people to Ma's website. And let's look at the debugger if it came to life so far. Yes, it did. Okay, there is a page view, and that's probably us. Yeah, branded keywords and data driven. So we are here, and then if I click on this link, the debugger will register the event that I created from. Okay, let's see if it happens. Here it is. It's called affiliate traffic sent to Moz. How does GA4 know that this is affiliate traffic sent to Moz? Well, if we look at the structure of this event, it says that matching conditions are if event name equals to click and then link URL contains Moz.com. Important thing to note here that click is the enhanced tracking that comes out of the box with GA4. So you should be aware that you can always rely on an automatically tracked event in GA4 in order to track something specific, that uh, scenario that just you want to track. If we take a look at the debugger here, here is the click that's automatically tracked and then the outbound link click that we created and we're going to cover in another video. Scenario number two would be if your website is receiving affiliate traffic, but the person who is sending the traffic didn't bother or they didn't know how to tag the link. So basically you need to have a precise count in GA4, how much traffic do they send, and then to be able to analyze that traffic further down the purchase path. Here we are on another website and this person didn't bother to tag this uh, traffic. The person is me and this is my personal blog. So if I click here, we should be able to see this in the debugger super quickly. Okay, before the debugger comes to life, let me show you how is this set up. So here is static affiliate elastic traffic. And it says that whenever event name that equals page view and then the page referrer contains elastic, GA4 should register static affiliate elastic traffic. But interesting thing here is that I have overwritten medium parameter. So whenever this set of conditions are matched, GA4 needs to rename the medium parameter because obviously this link is not uh, tagged. So it comes as a referral. I want it to overwrite that value and say it's an affiliate medium. So let me show you here. How does that look in the debugger? Here is this page view that we are talking about. If you see the page location is best Google Analytics alternatives and then the referrer is elastic.rs. But here is the static affiliate elastic traffic event. And if you see the medium here is affiliate. So we did this because we want to actually be able to analyze in the future this traffic as affiliate traffic versus plain referral as it would come up if we didn't do this trick. The third scenario is dynamically tracking affiliate traffic, but it's based on the 
URL parameter being identified in the event parameter called page location. Why did I do it like this? Well, let me open another website that has a tag link and I will show you how does that come across in GA4. So here is a tag link for DDU. And page location is sent always with any event into GA4. So it encompasses the entire URL, even the things that come after the question mark, meaning the parameters, the URL parameters. So I tried basically to uh, identify this visit by matching the UTM parameter, but it didn't work, which is why I had to rely on the automatically tracked parameter called page location. Now let's go back to the debug. And here is the page view. Page location is data driven view, so the home page, but there are some UTM parameters here. Unfortunately, we cannot see them all, but GA4 was able to identify that UTM was affiliate, so it triggered the proper GA4 event. Now, I could spend a couple more minutes showing you what doesn't work in GA4, even though we would expect it to work. So I wasn't able, as I said, to identify this thing happening by parameter of medium neither source. I wasn't able to add the modification for the non-existing parameter uh, at the uh, moment of creation. So for example, I cannot say here a, a parameter called affiliation equals to whatever I want, one, two, three, four. Let's do it again. If I save it here and then go back from here, the debugger is on. So let me click again on this tag link and we would expect the same thing to happen, to have a page view here and a dynamic affiliate URL param based tracking. Here is the user engagement. This is me closing the website. And here is this one. But as you can see, oh, okay, it works now. Perfect. So this is a good video where I actually learned something new. Basically, I was so entangled into testing things that I probably skipped this one where I went, when I was preparing for this video, but cool. I'm glad now that we can add affiliation here and open the possibility of analyzing this event with the similar events in a special bucket further down the line. I hope that this video shed some light on affiliate tr link tracking. And if you like it, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.